Uruguayan cuisine is a fusion of cuisines of several European countries, with a particular emphasis on Mediterranean food from Spain, Italy, Portugal and France. Other possible influences on the cuisine may result from immigration from countries such as Germany and Britain. The food is very similar to Argentine cuisine. The base of the country's diet is meat and animal products, primarily beef but also chicken, lamb, pig and sometimes fish. Uruguayan gastronomy is a result of immigration, rather than local Amerindian cuisine, because the new colonies did not trust the native Chirua people. The preferred cooking methods for meats and vegetables are still boiling and roasting, although modernization has popularized frying. See Milanesas and Chivitos. Meanwhile, wheat and fruit are generally served fried, torta frita and pastelas, comfited, rapadora and ticholos de banana, and sometimes baked, rosca de chicharrones, a new modern style. Although Uruguay has exuberant flora and fauna, with the exception of yerba mate, the rest of it is mostly still unused. Uruguayan food always comes with fresh bread. Biscochos and tortas fritas are a must for drinking with mate. Tomar el mate. Mate is the national drink. The dried leaves and twigs of the yerba mate plant Ilex are placed in a small cup. Hot water is then poured into a gourd just below the boiling point, to avoid burning the herb and spoiling the flavor. The drink is sipped through a metal or cane straw, known as a bombilla. Wine is also a popular drink. Other spirits consumed in Uruguay are caña, grappa, lemon-infused grappa, and grappamil grappa honey liquor. Grappamil is very popular in rural areas, and is often consumed in the cold autumn and winter mornings to warm up the body. Regional fruits as batia and patanga are commonly used for flavoring caña, along with quinotos and nisperos. Bushmeat comes from melitas and carpinchos. Popular sweets are membrillo quince jam and dulce de leche made from caramelized milk. A sweet paste, dulce de leche, is used to fill cookies, cakes, pancakes, milhoyas, and alfajores. The alfajores are shortbread cookies sandwiched together with dulce de leche or a fruit paste. Dulce de leche is used also in flan con dulce de leche. Spanish influences are very abundant, desserts like churros cylinders of pastry, usually fried, sometimes filled with dulce de leche, flan, ensaymadas Catalan sweet bread, and alfajores were all brought from Spain. There are also all kinds of stews known as gusos or estofados, arroces rice dishes such as paella, and fabada a stir and bean stew. All of the gusos and traditional pucheros stews are also of Spanish origin. Uruguayan preparations of fish, such as dried salt cod bacalao, calamari, and octopus, originate from the Basque and Galician regions, and also Portugal. There is Germanic influence in Uruguayan cuisine as well, particularly sweet dishes. The pastries known as bizcochos are Germanic in origin, croissants, known as medialunas, are the most popular of these, and can be found in two varieties, butter and lard based. Also German in origin are the Berlinese known as bolas de frile. Friars' balls, and the rolls called pianonos. The facturas were rechristened with local names given the difficult German phonology, and usually Uruguayanized by the addition of a dulce de leche filling. In addition, dishes like chucrut sauerkraut have also made it into mainstream Uruguayan dishes. Due to its strong Italian tradition, all of the famous Italian pasta dishes are present in Uruguay, including ravioli, lasagna, tortellini, fettuccine, and the traditional gnocchi. Although the pasta can be served with many sauces, there is one special sauce that was created by Uruguayans. Caruso sauce is a pasta sauce made from double cream, meat, onions, ham and mushrooms. It is very popular with Sorrentinos and Agnolotti. Common dishes Asado, both the tradition of grilling beef over coals which translates to barbecue in American English, and the dish, tira de asado. Chivito, a sandwich containing steak, ham, cheese, tomato, lettuce, and mayonnaise. Choripan, a very popular Uruguayan fast food, a grilled chorizo and a crusty bread such as a baguette, usually served with chimichurri sauce. Epinada, a small pie or turnover, most commonly filled with meat, such as ham and cheese. Epinada galega, a fish pie, with sauce, onions and bell peppers. Brought by immigrants from Galicia. Faina, a mix of chickpea flour, salt, water and olive oil, originally called farinata, 
cooked like a pizza on a flat tray. Brought by immigrants from Liguria, Italy. Pancho, a typical Uruguayan hot dog, a bun called pan de Vienna, filled with a hot dog, with mustard, ketchup, mayonnaise or salsa golf on top. Gnocchi, known as gnocchi, are traditionally eaten on the 29th day of each month. This was the day before payday, when people were at their poorest. Gnocchi made a cheap and hearty meal. On these occasions, some people leave a coin or a banknote under the plate to attract prosperity. Hungara, very similar to the Frankfurter, but very spicy. Milanisa, a thin breaded cutlet steak. There is a great variety, such as, Milanisa Napolitana, Milanisa Riena, and Suprema Maryland. Lemayan, an Armenian dish, brought by Armenian immigrants. Pasqualina, a Swiss chard pie, puff pastry crust on bottom and top, filled with seasoned Swiss chard and eggs. Pasqualina is a reference to Pascua Easter. Pastel de carne, in English, meat pie. Chopped meat, mashed potato, green peppers, olives, and eggs. Russian salad, potatoes, carrots, peas and mayonnaise, pizza locally pronounced pizza or pizza, has been wholly included into Uruguayan cuisine, and in its Uruguayan form more closely resembles an Italian calzone than it does its Italian ancestor. Typical Uruguayan pizzas include pizza rellena stuffed pizza, pizza por metro pizza by the meter, and pizza a la perilla grilled pizza. While Uruguayan pizza derives from Neapolitan cuisine, the Uruguayan fuga comes from the focaccia zinis Genoan, but in any case its preparation is different from its Italian counterpart, and the addition of cheese to make the dish fuga a con queso or fugazetta started in Argentina or Uruguay. Sliced pizza is often served along with faina, made with chickpea flour and baked like pizza. For example, it is common for pasta to be eaten with white bread, French bread, which is unusual in Italy. This can be explained by the low cost of bread, and that Uruguayan pasta tends to come together with a large amount of tuco sauce Italian, suco, juice, and accompanied by estofado stew. Less commonly, pastas are eaten with a sauce of pesto, a green sauce made with basil, or salsa blanca bechamel sauce. During the 20th century, people in pizzerias in Montevideo commonly ordered a combo of Moscato, which is a large glass of a sweet wine called Muscat, plus two stacked pieces the lower one being pizza and the upper one faina. Despite both pizza and faina being Italian in origin, they are never served together in Italy. Polenta comes from northern Italy and is very common throughout Uruguay. Unlike Italy, this cornmeal is eaten as a main dish, with sauce and melted cheese. History The current roots of Uruguayan cuisine can be traced back to a subsistence economy adopted by gauchos, and sustained on subsistence agriculture implanted by the Spanish and Criollos at the start of European colonization. The native peoples did not stay in one place, and Uruguay was used as a remote port, with few incursions for treasure hunting. The only permanent establishment at the time was constituted by Franciscan monks and was located in a territory now belonging to Brazil called Misiones, because their mission there was to Christianize the native peoples. The tradition of mate started during this time, with the monks brewing a beverage with the leaves of yerba mate that the Guarani people used to chew. Cattle was later introduced by Hernando Arias de Saavedra. The first group of immigrants came from poor families from Buenos Aires and the Canary Islands, along with their empanadas and casitos. Everything was sold from pulperias that were both stores and saloons. The asado tradition came with gauchos that lived in the country, descendants of those first families that having no land nor home, made cattle raiding their way of life. Portuguese and Brazilian influence was also added during Portuguese colonization. Feijoada was incorporated into the rest of the Gusos. Food was rudimentary and based on Spanish tradition until immigration at end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century, when the first families came mostly from Italy and Spain. Immigration increased following World War I and World War II, when people from all over Europe and the Middle East came to Uruguay, including people from Germany, Russia, Italy, and Armenia. Such immigration enriched the importation of dishes, as there is now pasta, Russian salad and innumerable types of pastries from France and Germany, resulting in chaha and alfajores. Butter was not widely used until the 1950s, where beforehand the common fat substance came from cattle and not from milk. 
The introduction of butter resulted in more refined products. Uruguayan cuisine has gone through many changes across the ages and it is still happening today. The exportation of meat is making asado less accessible, and the government does not seem to have an interest in protecting the rising price of yerba. As for everyday food, milanesas are being replaced for ponchos, croquetas are being replaced for pizza, and guso de lentijas is becoming more common than puchero or feijoada. Appetizers, entrees and snacks In Uruguayan cuisine, there is a significant list of preparations and dishes that are included in this category. The most typical or autochthonous is the picada, probably descending from the Spanish tapas, and as for everyday food, there are also matambre relleno and lengua a la vinagreta. Aperitif <inaudible> <inaudible> Common spirits produced in Uruguay include grappa and caña. Grappa is considered an excellent aperitif, and caña is considered a liqueur. Liquor made with caña has good digestive qualities and is mainly consumed as a drink and not as an aperitif. Aperitifs such as martini, vermouth, whiskey, medio y medio, half and half, and also uvita, sangria, and wine are popular. Medio y medio is a special blend of dry wine and sparkling wine, or sparkling wine and caña rum. Uvita is a fortified wine with caña that resembles marsala wine. Topic: Entrees. Topic: Picada. Picada can be described as the main entree of a typical asado, barbecue, and is consumed with aperitifs. It is constituted by cheese, olives, longaniza, salami, chips and salted peanuts. Peanuts and other snacks are served on small pots and all of the other ingredients are served on a wood table with slices of bread. Topic: <inaudible> Matambre relleno. Matambre relleno is a common dish in Rio de la Plata, both in Uruguay as in Argentina. It is one of two dishes prepared from matambre, a meat cut that is a flank steak. It is prepared as a luncheon meat by rolling thin slices over spinach, carrots and boiled eggs, tied up and sewn with a strong string, boiled and later pressed and consumed cold. Lengua a la vinagreta Lengua a la vinagreta Spanish for tongue with vinaigrette is a cold preparation of beef tongue that is previously peeled and boiled and served with a vinagreta sauce made with chopped boiled eggs, parsley, garlic, onions, olive oil, and vinegar. Pescado en escabeche Escabeche is a preserved method common in Spain and Spanish-speaking countries. It consists of a mix of oil and vinegar that is used as a marination that also preserves the food. Pescado en escabeche fish is a cold dish often made from Argentine hake that is buttered as in pescado a la marinera. After being separately fried, it is parboiled on a vinaigrette made of oil and vinegar that is added to sliced onions and carrots and whole garlic cloves and black pepper. Side dishes Food is mostly eaten with bread, and sometimes rice, salad or chips. Along with asado, accompaniments are chorizo, morcia, offal, and also stuffed peppers, and papas al plomo roasted potatoes. Sauces <inaudible> 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 From asado to pasta, Uruguayan cuisine offers a widely variant of sauces. Most remarkable are chimichurri, salsa criolla and salsa caruso. Topic: <inaudible> Picantina. Picantina is a spicy sauce commonly added to frankfurters, panchos, hungaras, coripanes and hamburgers. It is common to find on fast food dispensers in the street and is locally called carritos. It resembles a hot mustard or mayonnaise. 
Topic: <laughs> Mojo. Sharing the same name as the Spanish mojo, it is a simple sauce made with garlic, oil, parsley, oregano, paprika, water and salt, and is added to asado during the cooking process and optionally on the dish. Mojo differs from chimichurri in that it has water besides vinegar and less paprika. Chimichurri <inaudible> 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 Chimichurri is between a vinaigrette and a pesto variant, made with chopped garlic, oregano, paprika, oil, vinegar and salt. Along with salsa criolla it is preferred for asado. <laughs> salsa criolla Made with finely chopped tomatoes and onions, oil and salt, salsa criolla is used for garment of asado, choripan and sometimes ponchos. Topic: Salsa Golf. Invented in Argentina but also consumed in Uruguay, salsa golf is made from mayonnaise and ketchup. Topic: Mostaza la pasiva. La pasiva is a famous chain of restaurants in Uruguay, dedicated to fast food or menudas, as known in the region. Their specialities are ponchos and hungaras and they are renowned for their chivito. Mustard la pasiva is a white-colored hot mustard served along with ponchos. It is made with beer, starch, mustard grains, pepper, salt and vinegar. Though it has never been sold commercially, small quantities are sometimes given as a gift for clients. Mostaza la pasiva is also used among other mustards as a sauce for puchero meat. Topic. Salsa caruso, estofado and tuco All three are necessary pasta sauces among other foreign pasta sauces. Salsa caruso was made in honor of the opera singer Enrico Caruso and became a popular sauce especially for its main dish Capilitas a la caruso. Estofado is a stewed version of ragu made from steaks and sometimes eaten alone. Tuco when it is with chopped meat resembles a bolognese sauce. Barbecue and salads Salads Uruguayan cuisine has adopted if not blended a considerable amount of salads, the most typical being the ensalada criolla. Ensalada criolla With slight variants, it is common for a family of salads that are widespread over the southern South Cone region. Most variants, as in the Chilean salad, always include onion and lettuce. The salad common to Uruguay contains tomato along with lettuce and onion and is served with a single vinaigrette made of oil, vinegar, salt, garlic, and oregano. As it is a basic form of salad, it is an ideal accompaniment for asado. Ensalada rusa More similar to the Polish salatka jerzynowa than the typical Olivier salad, it contains potatoes, carrots, and peas with mayonnaise. <inaudible> Ensalada de papa y huevo This is a potato and egg salad or onion and potato salad or simply potato mayonnaise and parsley. Topic. Ropa vieja Resembling an old Spanish salpicón, ropa vieja Spanish for old clothes intends to include everything that exceeds from asado, mainly the best cuts of meat chopped with vegetables such as potatoes or ensalada criolla. It is not to be confused with the Cuban ropa vieja which is also a derivative dish but resembles more a sancocho than a salad. Salpicón de Avenue Another derivative salpicón, chicken salpicón is made with chicken, eggs, and potatoes. Topic. 
Palmitos con Salsa Golf Simply heart of palm sometimes rolled in ham slices and served with salsa. Watercress salad Basically watercress, olive oil and lemon juice. Asado Barbecue asado can be said to make the meal or as the meal itself. The meal and cut of meat are also called asado or tira de asado. In most Uruguayan homes, it is common to find a special grill on the patio called an asador. It is a structure made of iron and brick. Most asadores are at least 2 meters by 1 meter, have a chimney, a place for firewood and a large grill for the meat. Embers produced by the firewood are placed under the grill. In many towns and cities, street vendors sell asado. These small barbecue grills are called medio tonk half barrel, because they are made with an adaptation of a split steel drum. Asado cooked this way is sold often on the street as a snack or light lunch. In the larger cities, such as Montevideo, markets commonly have one or more grill stations where customers can order and eat asado directly at the bar, which may be served with offal, sausages, tapenadas, and tapas. It is usually served with lager beer for lunch. The person making the meal is also called asador. Asado is often preceded by aperitives such as vermouth, uvita, and medio y medio, an entree called picada and some chorizos, morcias, and some offal. Ingredients Ingredients of a complete Uruguayan asado include, chorizo, morcia, pulpon, entraña, tira de asado, cow gizzards, chinchulines, chotos, and kidneys. Poultry may also be included. Sometimes, especially on festive days, pork, fish, and lamb are consumed as a substitute for beef, constituting a variant. Preparation A typical asado takes from one hour to two hours to be prepared, and even more if a different kind of meat is going to be barbecued for example a whole pig takes at least four hours to be ready. The asador starts the fire in the burner and, once the fire is started, the meat is salted and condiments added. Condiments may include oregano, garlic, paprika, parsley and mojo. The first embers are put in place, the meat put on the grill and embers added to as they fall from the burner. The meat is slowly cooked and smoked on the asador and mojo is added periodically for flavor. The meat is served with bread and salads, condiments such as mojo, chimichurri and Uruguayan salsa criolla and beverages such as wine, clerico and sangria. Variants, <inaudible> <inaudible> asado con cuero Asado con cuero barbecue with its leather, is a favorite variant rurally and is also appreciated in the capital. It requires a more complex technique than that employed for making asado in that the animal is barbecued whole and even with its hide, though the bones are discarded. This practice was initiated by the Pampa people who, if they needed to move on in a hurry, could easily take with them the rolled up meat. Beverages. <inaudible> <inaudible> Typical Uruguayan beverages are mate, caña, uvita, grapamil and medio y medio half and half. Topic: <inaudible> Grappa. Grappa was brought by Italian immigrants as they kept coming at the immediation of SXIX. Grapamil and grappa con limón were made in the country from this Italian influence. Topic. Uvita A taste for wine was acquired from Mediterranean influence, also sangria and clerico. Uvita little grape is a fortified wine resembling marsala wine. Topic. Medio y medio Literally meaning half and half, medio y medio is a drink blend of caña and sparkling wine or dry wine and sparkling wine. 
It is made and sold under the trademark Roldos. Topic: <laughs> Mate. Mate is consumed at any time and on any occasion, solely with tortas fritas or bizcochos. It is so important that the act of drinking mate is a ritual of friendship between those involved. Even carrying a thermos of hot water facilitates this practice and on hot summer days it is still said to be refreshing. Uruguay is the first global consumer of mate, with a consumption of 6.8 kg of yerba mate per capita a year, surpassing Argentina by 1.2 kg per capita at year. Yerba mate also is consumed as mate casito. When it is prepared with milk it is called mate de leche and milk is added, it is called mate con leche. <laughs> Grappa con limón Grappa is sold under various trademarks but the most significant one is San Remo. It is distilled and bottled by ANCAP and there was also an attempt to produce the original Italian grappa by some local sellers. When macerated with lemon it is called grappa con limone. Cagna Cagna is an amber-colored drink distilled similar to aguardiente made from sugar cane mill. Its caramel color is due to aging in barrels. It is distilled and bottled under the brand name De Los 33. Grappamil Cagna as much as grappa used to be widely infused with herbs and fruits resulting in traditional combinations such as grappamil grappa plus honey, honey maceration, grappa con limón grappa with lemon, lemon maceration, cagna con patanga, cagna con batia, and so on. There is a bar in Montevideo called Los Yuyos that is famous for serving these varieties. Stews and puchero Specially suitable for cold days, Uruguayan gusos or stews are highly revitalizing, especially for their puchero, followed by busica, guso carrero, guso de fideos, noodle stew, estofado and feijoada. Spanish culinary influence is marked in Uruguayan stews, also there are Italian and Portuguese Brazilian influences, this last coming from the Luso-Brazilian invasion of Uruguay. Puchero From Spanish tradition puchero, Uruguayan puchero differs not much from others of the region, it is like a rough soup where dry ingredients are separated from broth after cooked to make two separate preparations, a new soup that is first consumed, and later the soup all the other succulent ingredients are consumed with bread. A typical puchero may contain all type of cuts with bones, skirt steak, osabuco, bacon, cabbage, sweet corn, rape, onions, celery, carrot, sweet potato, squash and potatoes. All these ingredients cut in big pieces are cooked and served, with the broth are made different soups containing small noodles, rice or any cereal of predilection. It is usual that each commensal make their puree on his dish with all the cooked vegetables that have been served, aligning it with oil if desired, and also to take off the caracu bone marrow from the osabuco bone and spread it over pieced bread. Mustards of the brand Savora and also La Passiva are used for garnishing puchero meat. Ensapado <inaudible> <inaudible> A dish for summer days and popular on rural areas, consisted on broth, noodles and gross slices of meat, chorizo sausage, and tocino bacon boiled together, its vegetable composition is reduced due is pretended to not ferment on hot days, so it only has few onions and squash. Its name comes from verb ensipar to moist, to soup, participle ensipado being souped. Guso Carrero. Sometimes it's hard to say what is Argentinian and what is Uruguayan history links people hardly, all that sayable is that Guso Carrero is part of, not only cuisine, but, Uruguayan folklore, it is a succulent meal consistent of meat, butter beans, and noodles. Popular fonts can assure that it is a delicious straw containing potato, sweet potato, noodles, squash, onion, tomato, beans, and the best meat. 
Guso Carrero is served with red wine, bread and grated cheese. When guso carrero does not contain noodles is called guso de porotos, and when it does not have beans is called guso de fideos or ensopado. Busica Busica or also cazuela de mandongo, a dish from the Spanish tradition of sopa de mandongo. Its main ingredient is the mandongo, that is a tripe from the cow's stomach, it is pre-cooked, and boiled along meat, chorizo, pichic, tomato and potato. Feijoada A dish originating from Portuguese-Brazilian influence that takes a bit from the main Rioplatans culture. Very popular all over Brazil, feijoada also is popular in Uruguay though not in Argentina. Consumed not only on the northeast but also all along the country, it is a black bean stew that, unlike the Brazilian feijoada, comes with potatoes besides bananas and farinha, and made with beef more often than pork. It is also common to find chorizo and chorizo colorado in Uruguayan feijoada. Bacalao. Bacalao is a dry fish stew made from dried and salted cod, chickpeas, onions, potatoes, tomato sauce and parsley. It is usually consumed on Uruguay over Easterns, as it is a Spanish Catholic tradition. Italian style stews Also very popular on Uruguayan cuisine, ragu-styled stews still are very popular, such as albendigas con papas and estofado. <inaudible> Niños envueltos Literally meaning wrapped children, a stew consisting of small wraps the length of a human finger. They are made of loin slices that are filled with bacon, spinach and carrots, and later boiled in a tomato sauce and served with peas and boiled potatoes. <inaudible> Estofado Made from poultry or cow meat, it is called estofado de pollo when made with poultry and estofado de carne when it has cow meat. It is a dish that contains meat and chorizo or chicken, stewed in tomato sauce, and sometimes served with a side of boiled potatoes or pasta. <inaudible> Albendigas con papas Spanish for meatballs with potatoes, albendigas con papas is a dish made from meatballs boiled in tomato sauce with potatoes and peas. Albendigas con papas are eaten with cheese and parsley. Topic: <inaudible> Menudas. Menuda is the denomination for Rio de la Plata's fast food, though that more than real fast food, the term mostly refers to the main ingredients of what would be fast food such as in America would be sausages to hot dogs. Common sidings can be fried eggs, croquetas, French fries, puree, and salads. Most notable menudas are milanesas, refuerzos such as coripanes, chivitos and pizza and faina, also bauru is common along the Brazilian border. Choripan <laughs> <laughs> Choripan, Spanish portmanteau for sausage chorizo, and bread pan, also called chorizo al pan sausage on bread, is a sandwich made with barbecued chorizo that is sliced in half to fit, mayonnaise, ketchup, tomato, lettuce, onions, etc. Hungaras Hungaras are like ponchos, boiled sausages but more spicy and thinner and longer, like ponchos also they come served on bread and they are found on the street served as fast food and also sold apart in supermarkets. Milanesas <inaudible> 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 Milanesa from Italian alla milanese is a thin breaded cutlet that can be veal, chicken or fish. 
Breading consists of three successive steps that its order defines mostly the character of the Milanesa. Most of Montevideo's bars and old style restaurants make breading starting with egg so that the latest dip is also egg. This method, generated by Galician and Spanish burrists, leaves a coat of egg that turns into a film at frying. It is a curious variation that is often served on those restaurants because the main breading has inverse order and is the type of Milanesa that is served everywhere else, including homemade Milanesas. Also Milanesas are salad on butcher shops on every step previous to frying, slizzed, tendered or breaded and ready to fry. A typical dish of Milanesa is sided with fried eggs, or a caballo, horse riding when egg garn besides siding, French fries or salad. The way that Milanesa is served determinates the name of the dish that can be served, a caballo, or a la napolitana, Naples style, or al pan, Milanesa sandwich. A Milanesa a la Napolitana, not original from Naples, consists on a Milanesa garned with tomato sauce, ham and mozzarella cheese slices on that order that is finely grated. Milanesa al pan consists of a sandwich made with Milanesa, Felipe bread a type of bread roll, tomato slices, lettuce, mayonnaise, bacon, ham, cheese and olives. When a Milanesa al pan is mayor in size it is cut in half and called Milanesa en dos panes double bread. Homemade and street versions of this dish are called refuerzo de Milanesa and it differs in that it is made with baguette besides Felipe bread. Pastas de pescado a la marinera Often served on portuary sides of the country, pescado a la marinera battered fish fry that it is commonly served sided with lemon slices. Battering is made from beer, preferably from brand Patricia, flour and salt. Ponchos <inaudible> <inaudible> Hot dogs are referred as ponchos, coming in two sizes, cortos short ones and largos longer ones. La Pasiva is a restaurant chain in Uruguay that specializes in serving ponchos and with time, was renowned by its La Pasiva mustard sauce for ponchos that comes among every poncho order and also serves local specialities as ponchos con panceta ponchos with bacon and ponchos porteños. Ponchos con panceta Grilled frankfurter that is previously wrapped on a spiral with sliced bacon and served on bread. Ponchos porteños, frankfurter wrapped with mozzarella cheese and served on bread. Croquetas Croquetas are croquettes made with potato and ham, rice and ham, bechamel and ham. Empanadas Empanadas are a kind of pastry that originated in Spain. In Uruguay, empanadas are more commonly fried and usually include a filling of choice. Empanadas de carne are filled with ground meat, chopped boiled eggs, garlic, and onions. Empanadas de carne may also be dulces, sweet, filled with raisins, or saladas, salty, filled with olives. Empanadas de pollo are made with grounded poultry meat. Empanadas de jamón y choclo or humitas are filled with ham and corn. Empanadas de queso y cebola are filled with onion and cheese. Empanadas de dulce, or empanadas de membrillo are filled with quince cheese. Empanadas are not to be confused with pastelas, a similar baked good. Buñuelos. <inaudible> <inaudible> Buñuelos are fried dough balls of different types, the most common one are buñuelos de acelga, buñuelos de sesos doughs that contains brain, buñuelos de manzana apple dough, and buñuelos de banana, banana dough. Sweet buñuelos are served powdered with cane sugar. <laughs> Pizzas, pastas and breads Brought by Italian tradition and spread all over the world this case is not an exception, far from being it pizza-like breads and pasta are part of everyday food since long time ago. <inaudible> pizza Uruguayan-style pizza uses a thicker crust and this rising higher than the usual Neapolitan pizza. 
It is commonly sliced squared, resembling pizza al taglio or Sicilian pizza. Pizzas with an even thicker crust are referred to as pizza de cumpleaños, birthday party pizzas, as it is common to serve to guests on such occasions. Pizza can come with a lot of ingredients, but most common are pizza and pizza mozzarella. Topic: <laughs> Fena. Fainas are often served in pizza bars and restaurants throughout the country. It consists on a thin, round chickpea flour baked crepe paste that can be ordered as faina de oria, faina from border when is the thinnest part of the border, that is desired or faina del medio, faina from the middle when it is referred to the taller middle part of a faina. Unlike the common use in Italy that faina is peppered on the plate by the crust, Uruguayan use implies peppering on the plate with white chopped pepper by the other side. When faina is served upside a pizza it is called pizza a caballo, that may be translated as horse riding pizza. <inaudible> figaza A figaza is a pizza bread not containing tomato sauce, topped with onions and often also mozzarella. It is probably descended from the Genoese focaccia where it is known as fugasa, and it is also consumed in Argentina under the name fugazetta. Typical ingredients of a figaza are onions, peppers and olives. Fideos con tuco Tuco is an Uruguayan tomato sauce made with chopped meat, tomato sauce, onions, oregano, and garlic. Fideos mening noodles. Tuco can be served with any pasta, fresh or dry, but most common are tallarines con tuco, spaghetti with tuco, gnocchi con tuco, gnocchi, monitas con tuco, farfalle, ravioles con tuco, ravioli, and canelones con tuco, cannelloni. Canelones con tuco are covered with bechamel and later covered with tuco. Topic: Fideos con estofado. Estofado and tuco are interchangeable for any of the mentioned noodles, though estofado can serve also as a dish by itself when served alone or with potatoes. Estofado is made by cooking meat pieces in tomato sauce by long coctions. Topic: <laughs> Capilitas a la Caruso. Caruso sauce was invented by chef Raimundo Monti and takes its name from the famous tenor Enrico Caruso. It is a warm sauce that is made of cream, sliced onions, ham, cheese, nuts and mushrooms and is served with capelletti. <inaudible> Breads Pan de chicharrones literally meaning rind bread, also rosca de chicharrones, is a leavened bread made of cow lard and added with small rinds made of cow fat, commonly found on local bakeries among with sweet variations without rinds such as rosca de membrillo, quince cheese -filled bread and rosca de dulce de leche, dulce de leche -filled bread. Flautapin flauta trumpet bread is an elongated bread that is a variant of baguette. Tortuga pan tortuga it is a small round shaped bread with soft crust thus its name tortuga spanish for turtle Felipe Felipe is a hard crusted small bread porteño Porteño is called after the eponym of the inhabitants of Buenos Aires and is similar to Felipe but with a smaller crumb Marcele Marcelles are called after the city of Marseille and resembles a pair of twin Vienna bread with harder crust and covered with maize flour Pan de sandwich Pan de sandwich is a soft crumb mold bread specially made for making sandwiches. <inaudible> sandwiches There is a wide variety of sandwiches in Uruguay which are locally classified in two types called refuerzo reinforcement and sandwich, sandwich respectively. Sandwiches in Rio de la Plata are particular and different of those from other parts of the world because of the bread with which are made that is pan de sandwich. This type of sandwiches are simply called sandwiches and are commonly sold on local bakeries. 
Also note that the Spanish distinction between refuerzo and sandwich which is also present in Mexico with torta and sandwich, which differentiates common bread sandwich from others similar to the British train sandwich, is not so pronounced on the Argentinian dialect where difference is simply made by adding demiga crummy to the latter. Notable types of refuerzos are chivito, choripan and milanesa al pan. Chivito Chivito meaning literally small goat is a popular type of sandwich originated in Uruguay. Its name comes from an unaccomplished desire from a client that literally wanted a beef of small goat or a chivito, being that goat is not consumed in Uruguay client had to be satisfied anyway with this now popular dish. Hence a thin slice of filet mignon substituted the beef of small goat. Nowadays it is uncertain if bacon, mozzarella, ham, onion, hard-cooked eggs, tomato slices, mayonnaise, olives and bread really complement the goat flavor. Variants from chivito are, as Milanesa en dos pains, chivito en dos pains, chivito canadiens added with Canadian bacon, chivito canadiens al plato and chivito al plato platted chivito. A complete chivito is served with French fries and when is dished is also sided with ensalada russa and ensalada criolla. Choripan Choripan, Spanish portmanteau for sausage chorizo and bread pan, also called chorizo al pan sausage on bread, is a sandwich made with barbecued chorizo that is sliced in half to fit, mayonnaise, ketchup, tomato, lettuce, onions, etc. <laughs> sandwich Olimpico Sandwich Olimpico Olympic sandwich is a very popular sandwich in Uruguay made with three slices of pan de sandwich filled with ham, cheese, olives, tomato and lettuce. Topic: <laughs> Sandwich Caliente. Sandwich Caliente, hot sandwich or tostado. Toasted as it is called in Argentina is a variant of the croquet mincir made with two slices of pan de sanguish filled ham and cheese and toasted. Topic: <inaudible> Jesuitas. <inaudible> Jesuitas are made with two layers of puff pastry filled with ham and cheese and covered with fondant icing. Topic: <inaudible> Confectionaries for mate Tortas fritas Tortas fritas fried cakes are a simple pastry, typical from Argentina and Uruguay and which has many variants along South America. The recipe for the sopipia, from which it descends, is argued to be from what is now Germany but they were introduced to Spain by the Arabs at the times of the invasion. Specifically tortas fritas are leavened fried thin round breads but the aspects that describes them better is the flourishing with sugar, its distinctive hole in the center and the use of cow fat, both for frying and for making the batter. Within Uruguayan folklore is stated that tortas fritas are better if made and eaten on rainy days. Biscochos Uruguayan biscochos are small pastries different from the Spaniard sponge cake of the same name that in Uruguay is called bizcochuelo. Biscochos are consumed with mate, coffee and tea, they are the more common pastry of Uruguay, and commonly sold on local bakeries. Biscochos come in various kinds, like corazanes, margaritas and pan con grasa. Topic. Pastelis Pastelis pastries are triangular-shaped empanadas that are made from a batter identical to such of tortas fritas with the addition of being puffed using cow fat. As tortas fritas they are also flourished with sugar after fring. Pastelis are filled only with quince jam or dulce de leche. Tortas fritas and pastelis are commonly sold on streets. Alfajores 
Alfajores consist of two round sweet spongy dugs poured together filled with dulce de leche and covered onto two variants, chocolate and neve snow. Neve variant is called due to its white snowy aspect conferred by the meringue covering. Yo-yo, layered pastry filled with dulce de leche and coated with chocolate on the upper half. It is shaped like a yo-yo. Desserts Cakes Chaha poster, a dessert with meringue, sponge cake. Chaha. Cream and peaches. It is created by a well-known firm in the city of Paysandu. Isla flotante, made with egg white and sugar, and served with zabayoni. Massini, made of two layers of pianono, a thin sponge cake, filled with whipped cream and topped with caramelized zabayan. Biscocho Baracho, a dessert from Spanish origin, it's a spongy dough dipped with a syrup made of liquor. Confectionaries Garapanadas, a very popular treat, made with peanuts covered with cocoa, vanilla and sugar, resembling whole nut pralines. It is sold in little bags in the downtown streets. Damasquitos, jelly apricot candies, delicacy from the city of Minas. Yemas acarmeladas, egg candy made mainly with egg yolks, vanilla and sugar. It has a spherical shape of about 1 inch diameter, and covered with a thin layer of hard, transparent, caramelized sugar coating. Zapalo en almibar, squash in syrup. Topic. Cookies. Churros, came from Spain, and are just like those, except some have fillings, like custard cream or dulce de leche. Topic. Custards and ice creams Dulce de leche, a sweet treat made of milk and sugar. It is used in many Uruguayan desserts. Dulce de membrillo, a sweet quince jelly-like preserve. Boudin inglés, in English, English pudding, a pudding with fruits and nuts, very popular in Christmas and New Year's Eve. Flan, a kind of rich custard dessert with a layer of soft caramel on top, as opposed to creme brulee. Martin Fierro, a slice of cheese and a slice of quince preserve dulce de membrillo. Ricardito, also as popular, this is a cream-filled treat, covered with chocolate on a waffle base. It has different variants and it is sold in most kiosks in individual boxes. Topic: <inaudible> Pastries. Pastafrola, an exquisite pie made of quince paste, dulce de membrillo. Topic: <inaudible> See also Cuisine of Argentina Cuisine of Montevideo